I've been a Final Cut Pro user for years now and for my editing needs as a content creator, it has always been the right editing software for me. Now, while it is a bit behind the competition in terms of built-in features, luckily there are third-party plugins available that make Final Cut Pro even better. Now, plugins not only add new features and functionality to Final Cut Pro, but also enhance the overall editing experience. I absolutely love using Motion VFX plugins. I've been using them for years now. They not only work flawlessly, but are also incredibly user-friendly. And you know what? They've just launched two amazing plugins, which is M-Tracker Surface that lets you place graphics on any surface. And with m -Roto AI, you can easily mask any object in just a few clicks. And before we dive into these two awesome plugins, I first want to share a quick video that I shot on my iPhone where I got to use these plugins. This way I can break them down with you all. So with that said, enjoy. Hello? So I hope you liked that little creative sequence that I shot. Let's now jump into the details of these two plugins and how they can elevate your editing game to the next level. So let's look at the plugin M Tracker Surface. Now with this plugin, like I said, you can basically place your graphics on any surface and achieve accurate and realistic results quickly. Now in the short film, The Glitch, you may have noticed that I put the title on a garage door, which looked quite realistic. And to create that, I can simply drag the M Tracker Surface plugin onto the clip that I want to place the title on. And once I did that, you now have these on screen controls. From there on, I'm going to select the Bezier tool and draw a shape around the area where I want to place the title. Now I could track this, but since this is a static shot and I shot it by myself, there is no need for it. Next up, I'm going to choose a title. You can use any basic title, but I'm going to choose one from the cinematic title pack by Motion VFX. I then drag it on top, name it, and create a compound clip. I then disable the title, select the clip with the M Tracker surface applied, and in the inspector window, you'll see a drop zone. I click on it, select the title I just disabled, and hit apply. You can now see the title placed on the surface I've selected earlier. From here on, I can make further adjustments if needed, such as changing the position and scale. To add more realism, I'm going to change the blending mode from normal to multiply, and that's basically it. Now I know this is a basic scenario, but you can also use it when the camera or object moves, and it will track even the trickiest cases. Now this plugin can save you a ton of time and doesn't require a bunch of steps. It really lets you focus on the fun and creative stuff. Now one issue is that when I walk by, you can see that the tile doesn't go behind me, and that is where Mroto AI can be really useful. Now with this, you can basically mask any object with just a few clicks and track its movement to create interesting effects. So in this example, I want to track myself as I walk by. I'm going to apply the Mroto AI to that clip. Again, we are given on-screen controls. Before I track myself in the inspector though, I'm going to select accurate in the precision option. This way I get accurate tracking results. From then on, I'm gonna use the magic wand to automatically select myself
myself by marking me with a simple stroke. After that, I can select the tracker and track it forward as well as backward. As it tracks me, it intelligently detects and refines the mask as I move. And the blue color you see, that is the mask selection. Now, once the tracking has been completed, I can duplicate the clip, disable Emeroto AI on the first clip, and on the second clip, I can change the output from merge to masked video. When I disable the clip below, you can see that I have masked myself out. If I want to, I can adjust the smoothness, shrink and expand it, add a blur to make it look more natural, and even invert the mask. If I enable the clip below again and play it back, you'll notice that as I walk across the frame, the title now blends seamlessly behind me. Now this plugin is really amazing because a rotoscope used to take very long as you had to use the mask tool to do each frame manually. But with this plugin, that work has been completely eliminated. Now the possibilities with M Roto AI are almost infinite, allowing you to do so much with it and get really creative with your edit. I, for example, also use it to create the glitching effect on the walkie-talkie and even on myself. So just to show you what I've did, I've rotoscoped myself using the M Roto AI, then applied the distortion effect using the M Restyle 2 plugin by Motion VFX. By the way, I will leave all plugins mentioned in the video description below. Now, since it functions as an adjustment layer, I place it on top of the clip and create a compound clip. And just like that, it only affects the mask. So you can see how powerful this plugin can be and how much time it can save you. You can use Emroda AI to apply effects, create color correction, animate mask, and do advanced compositions such as replacing the background without needing a green screen. I really just touched the surface of what this plugin can do, but I hope you can see how it can greatly improve your editing process and give you endless creative possibilities. Now, personally, I find myself using the Emroto AI plugin more than the M Tracker Surface as the possibilities with the Emroto AI are almost infinite. Now, in the end, it comes down to the kind of projects or videos you're working on and and what your needs are. Now these two plugins, including other awesome plugins such as M Film Look, which I use often in my cinematic videos, are available in the Cine Studio plan as a subscription. Now, if you're not sure if this is something you'd use for your workflow, you can give it a try with a 14 day trial. Plus Motion VFX has some awesome tutorials that dive deeper into using these plugins. So be sure to check them out. I'll drop a link to it in the video description below. So hopefully you found this video helpful. Let me know what you think of this awesome plugin and how you would use it in your editing workflow. If you have any questions, guys, let me know. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.